Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Uh, last week we had a lot of fun with our blown out flip cup technique that I played with and I really enjoyed that a lot and I started thinking about it and um, tonight we're going to be doing a blowout with my Makita mini leaf blower but we're going to be doing an open cup technique so I think this is going to be a lot of fun and we'll see how it goes. I haven't tried it before so you guys are going to see. <laughs> Should be interesting. And this is a 24 by 36 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped and pinned the back and painted my sides and edges. So let me show you my colors because they're very pretty and I'm very excited about this palette. The first one that we're working with is this gorgeous color. This is Golden's Turquoise Thalo. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful color and when it dries it's nice and rich and deep and a little bit darker than this but so beautiful. So that's Golden's Turquoise Thalo. And we also have Golden's Turquoise Thalo Light. So that's these two. There's the turquoise, and there's the turquoise light. And together they are beautiful. Really gorgeous, dreamy, very pretty, bright, happy color. Okay, the consistency is a mound on a mound and then sinking into itself. The pouring medium tonight is Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss and American Floetrol. And that's those two. Then we're also using Golden's Prussian Blue. And this is also my base coat color that I have standing by, is the Prussian Blue. So this is gonna be the background, and I'm putting it in the pour as well to give us areas of negative space within the pour. Very pretty stuff. Okay, the next one we're using is kind of a special concoction. This is two of this little piggy pigments, mostly mint chip, which is one of their newer colors. And I've added a little bit of brulee in there also to give it a little bit of sparkle and some shimmer. And this one is just slightly thicker than the other ones because the way that I mix the piggies up, I disperse the pigments into a little bit of isopropyl alcohol first, and that's going to thin the mixture out. So instead of adding Floetrol to my pouring medium, I just use all pouring medium and that piggy alcohol mixture. So that's why it's the tipsy piggy mix. <laughs> tipsy piggy. Tipsy Piggy recipe. Have you been, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> I am not. Hitting the uh, alcohol yourself? Tripping over my tongue a little bit. But that's the Tipsy Piggy recipe that's mint chip and brulee. And then we have our Amsterdam Titanium White, to which I have added just a little bit of this pearl yellow, because I like being weird and doing weird things. And I'm hoping it gives it a little bit of the, that light gold sheen to it when it's dry. So this should be really pretty. And we have completely unadulterated Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. So, okay, so let me show you the base coat color. There you go. Stir stick. That's a pretty color all by itself. This is the Prussian blue, yeah. Gorgeous. Those drips? No. <laughs> this is not drips. <laughs> if I could get drips this color, I would be really happy. <laughs> okay, so I think what we're gonna do is put down a small puddle of this and then put our ring inside of that. And then I'm going to use the leaf blower, I'm going to try to do this, to actually blow inside around on the edge to really push the paint underneath the lip and kinda see what happens with that. I'm excited though, I've never done this before, but I've been thinking about it a lot, so. Let's pull this over. All right, so we're gonna start about here. I'm just gonna pour a puddle of this. And then we're gonna plop our ring into that. And I do have two, so. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna turn this around so that I can blow it that way easier. I think you might have some good success trying to blow straight down. <laughs> you sure you don't want your deflector shields if I blow it I'm straight down? Sure. I'm <laughs> okay. Well, better it's better than blowing it straight towards me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. We're going to start with a little bit of white, and I am going to pour it from up high. And then we're going to come right into that beautiful mint chip color. It's really pretty. And we're going to do a little bit more Prussian. And we're going to get into the turquoise. And some 
light turquoise. You're already starting to get cells coming up. And some gold over here. Okay, you two a moment of truth. <laughs> this is my Makita mini leaf blower. It is cordless. The reason I love this is because it's cordless and it blows cool air and mostly the progressive trigger, which basically means the harder I squeeze, the more it blows. If I squeeze really gently and really softly, it blows it very gently and softly. So that's what we're aiming for tonight. And I'm aiming for this edge of the cup. And I'm anticipating that the cup is going to move too. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lost that I am. Cross your fingers. Here we go. Okay, so it's just moving the cup. <laughs> so say pour, try to point straight down at it and see what happens. Uh, I have a feeling what's going to happen. <laughs> Well, that's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more base coat down over here. You might end up tilting this a little bit too. Let's put some more color in there. I'm gonna come back to the turquoise. And a little bit of white. And some gold. Go back to the Prussian again. And then chip. Put some turquoise on top of that. Let's go with my layer of white and gold also. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. I'm actually gonna hold the ring so the ring doesn't move. We'll see if we can do this. Ready, darling? Yes, my lord. It wants to move. <laughs> it wants to move a lot. Okay, we're gonna go. Okay. Maybe take that left turn at Albuquerque. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening over here is really pretty though. And I'm loving this blending we were getting in this area from when we were blowing the whole thing. All right, I'm gonna twirl this kind of off. Okay. Over there. Puddle some more of this over here. Kind of where we want it to go. We're going to put this one down over here. So we're going to overlap the original design and now we're going to put some colors in. Let's start off with a little bit of that white. And we'll go with turquoise. Light turquoise, a little bit of Prussian, some mint chip, some more gold, a little bit more white. this one one more time. Ready, honey? Mm -hmm. It's interesting. It's moving the cup and giving us that effect that I kind of want. Not really the way that I wanted, but it is working. I'm actually going to turn this a little bit. Okay, one more time. interesting. 
not really what I wanted. So we're actually gonna take the ring and we're gonna put it right back on here and then I'm gonna twirl this. Cause that's gonna give us some beautiful patterns. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna put some more base coat on here and then we're gonna start tilting this out a little bit. So I'm gonna concentrate the base coat now on the corners and edges. about these colors and I really like that gradient and I even really like the swirl a lot too. Um, I think I'm going to actually put one of the rings back on there for a second. This blob right there I'm not super crazy about so I'm just going to put the ring back there and just add a little bit of that swirling pattern. Just like that. Okay. Cool. Now I'm happy. Alright, let's tilt this out. Oh, let's torch it first. We're gonna head off this edge first. Right, so let's see, where's the way to the paint? Okay, we're gonna walk this down nice and easy. something in your paint, get it out as soon as you see it. It will disrupt your cells and your composition. Okay. You may end up with some negative space in that corner, which I'm fine with. Okay. 
for a second and take a look at this. Let's see what we've got. What do you think, Joy? Okay. That's beautiful. Some of this stuff is really beautiful. This is really cool in here. I'm loving this whole edge with that stretched out layer of cells. I really like this. I wasn't sure I was gonna like these rings, but I do like it against the negative space. The only part I'm not crazy about is right there, that gold. So. Wreck it. Wreck it. Finger paint it. Mm. <laughs> Or I could put the cup back on there and spin it. I don't think I want to do that though. All right, we're just going to use my finger. I'm going to come in through here. So when you're using your finger, if you follow the natural lines that are already there, you'll get a better result and it'll look a little more natural. Okay, that's pretty cool. Just gonna tilt that just a little bit to incorporate that in. So 24 by 36. I haven't done this size in a while. Love it. Okay. off of the bottom. So I have a question. Yes. Is there any pattern, any element that you can see that you couldn't have gotten any other way than this? Well, the open cup is really cool because it gives you a lot of blending, but it also will create a lot of cells because it's kind of like an air swipe. The cup edge is acting like the swiping tool and creating all the cells. So you can get cells, but this pattern, that diffuse gradient is sort of special to the open cup technique. So this is looking pretty cool though. But what I mean is blowing it with the blower is it different or could you Did got that do anything? Result? No, I don't think the blower actually did anything special in this case. <laughs> it was something I was thinking of that I really wanted to try, but I don't think that using the leaf blower gave us any different results than just having an open cup would. But that's okay. I mean, that's how you figure things out, right? Okay, let me turn this around because I think that's the top. So that would be the final orientation. I like it. What do you think, honey? Yeah. It's a lot to like. Cool. All right, so this is looking pretty good. I'm going to torch it one more time, and then uh, we'll be done. Kind of looks like an aerial photo of an archipelago in the Pacific or something. <laughs> done. I'm very happy with this. I love the colors. I love that golden turquoise is an amazing color, especially with the light turquoise. And I really like the mint chip in there too. So this is awesome. I will show you guys when it's tried. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Hope you have a wonderful day. <laughs>